I'm Laren Livingston, and here is a look at the stories making news on this Sunday. A disturbing discovery in Miami after a historic cemetery was hit by vandalism. Crime scene detectives found a gravesite had been dug up. They say the remains inside the open crypt were disturbed. This is the very first cemetery established in Miami. It's the resting place for pioneers of the city, such as the mother of Miami, Julia Tuttle. She's buried there. It's not yet clear who may be behind the crime. And new details revealed about a plane crash in the Keys. A pilot suffered serious injuries after the small plane went down on the Gulf side of Bahia Honda State Park near Horseshoe Key. He is said to be a 74-year-old retired commercial skilled pilot who was rescued by a fisherman. An emergency medical helicopter then landed on US-1 and airlifted the pilot to Jackson South Trauma Center. He remains in the ICU with broken ribs and a fractured neck. South Florida police cracking down on illegal street racing. Three people were arrested after leading officers on a chase. Police say they were caught trying to take over an intersection. They chased one car through Dade up to Broward County at high speeds. Two suspects ditched that car, then jumped into another car driven by a third suspect, the getaway car, they say. On the same day of those arrests, six high profile organizers of these intersection takeovers were arrested for street violations in Broward. Carnival Miami continues with its marquee event, Cayocho. It's the nation's biggest Latin American music festival, and the party spans about 15 blocks on A Street there in Miami. The street packed with live music, of course, delicious food and drinks. Funds from the event benefit Kiwanis Club Havana, an organization that helps underprivileged children. And that's all for now, but remember you can always stay up to the minute on breaking news headlines any time of day on our web channel, local10.com. You all take care. Have a good rest of your week.